So I'd like to thank the World Water Culture Association and for offering me this opportunity. Before the presentation, I'd like to share the three episodes between International Water Culture Society and me during the Nanjing Symposium. I was involved with the other projects, but I wasn't attending the Nanjing Symposium. And then it was held in Yangning. And at that time, I also think about how we can do the inheritance and innovation. And during that period, we discovered that in our industry, we haven't focused on the non-material culture. Even if we have some specific projects, but we did not have such kind of a perspective. And uh, with uh, the law on the non-material heritages, among the first uh, batches, uh, what kind of uh, heritage involved the wood culture? I wrote another paper on that. And uh, during the Yangming Symposium, uh, I was also influenced by the International Water Culture Society. And during the teaching, I identified that we also have a course in the college, but none of it has touched about the traditional kind of textures or cultures. So while we talk about the semantics or et cetera, so that I want to touch upon this perspective. So my topic is a viewpoint on the water cultural heritage. Um, I will mainly try to share my viewpoints uh, with you. Abstract, uh, under the background of uh, the cultural heritage research and protection, we hope to use uh, psychology and uh, semantics uh, and uh, the Chinese culture and the uh, old uh, science and attack to interpret uh, the properties of the traditional old pieces and uh, also their artistic forms. And I will try to share with you on, uh, on my suggestions. First, why we want to reinterpret uh, this uh, traditional old culture and art. And uh, I like to interpret uh, the contemporary perspective of the old culture heritage, many in six uh, aspects. I will elaborate on it later on. And then the conclusion and uh, suggestions, uh, many three suggestions from me. First, uh, I like to uh, reinterpret uh, the significance of the traditional cut old culture and art. Uh, so for wood, uh, in the long run, they might uh, disappear. But however, its uh, emotion and beauty will be everlasting. <coughs> so their values and uh, will exist for the first one. It's a kind of push cart in the uh, rural area. And also, Hong Chi Chu, my hometown. So they want to work by their own. And uh, this kind of spirit is uh, unity and, uh, and the hard working. They used the push cart uh, to build uh, this uh, uh, Hong Chi Chu. So, in order to interpret uh, the meaning and the connotation of the wood products, we should be thinking of a reinterpretation. We should put something new and fresh to the stuff. In the modern development of uh, products, we should be thinking of this uh, perspective. For certain woodcrafts, certain products, they are dwindling with each passing day. So we should have the system, we have the mechanism, so, to, so that uh, we can inherit and pass on the traditional crafts. I believe that we should have a certain rethinking to that. 
So we should be thinking of uh, the products as semantics. We should be thinking of the context of the pattern of the products. For certain theory, we don't see how much study related to this industry. Well, how to interpret uh, the cultural relics in the protection? We don't have the word for interpretation. Interpretation is not part of the protection. According to peers, interpretation is to interfere, interpret uh, the the understanding of the meaning of the uh, the, the symbols and the, the patterns. So, in other words, we call it. Uh, Semiology. So semiology is the study for the interpretation of uh, the understanding of the information. So we we'll have the different dialogues between China and the West, between present and ancient times. So for different times, the perspective for interpreters are different as well. For in the original interpreter was uh, from folk music, from aesthetic perspective, uh, and for us because of the multicultural. Diversity, we should have the multi layer um, interpretation with the different uh, disciplines, uh, background. We should be thinking of the multiculturalism and the inclusiveness as part of the interpretation and understanding. For the wood culture interpretation, if we don't have the deep thinking, we'll not only know something superficial. So we should have the deep thinking so that uh, we can have the better way to preserve and carry on the traditions of wood culture. Through interpretation, we will put a more meaning and to the wood culture. So for different perspectives of the interpretation of wood culture in heritage or relics, well, we should be thinking of a Chinese way of interpreting it. What is a Chinese way? Chinese is the reference to the Western culture and the philosophy and the re-study and the rethink of Chinese traditional academic culture. So this combination of the Chinese and the West and also the present and the future. Psychology. We can approach from psychological perspective. Psychology is all you all inclusive encompassing ones. It's like a Costa philosophy, we call Gustav philosophy. For Gustav philosophy, that it has different ones. For example, when we see something we think it's something beautiful. For instance, round, we think it should be uh, very good. We, we, we think something good before we find something else. That's a ghost psychology. And also, according to Chinese, a cloud pattern. The cloud pattern can be individually existent, or it can be existing in line with other stuff. So what's the meaning of the paradigm or the concept of this uh, cloud. So f for uh, the uh, professionals, we will know the meaning of uh, the cloud green. For cloud green, back in 2008, we have Beijing Olympic Games. We use the torch. You can see uh, the green on the torch, the cloud green. And also for the clothing, you can see the c cloud green. You can see the pattern, why the pattern is beautiful. Maybe people may be split on this issue. But uh, what's the, uh, the green area is the most eye-catching. So we put the green, air, green color to the apparel of the Olympic athletes. This is a psychological perspective. It's a ghost test. The second way is the vision analysis, for instance. 
we should approach from the vision idea. So through the gravity analysis, through the direction analysis, through the correlation analysis, through the convex and the concave uh, analysis, and through the dimension analysis, the color analysis, the pattern analysis, we can know the regular, the regularities and the inclusive of those traditional wood doors and wood windows. We can know the equilibrium in the ancient times. I see something good, but uh, it's not the case everything is good, because for the Asian craftsmen, by rule of thumb, in line with their experience, they will do the craft's work. This is uh, not that clear, but it's kind of a swastika pattern. So from here, you can see two lines. The two lines have the golden proportion here to the left and the right. That's the middle part between left and the right. This is the, uh, w this is the center of the fan style window. This is a good combination. If you put it here, there's a perfect uh, position here. Because of all the different uh, pitches, we have the force downward. But far, we want to the force upward, so that we can have the good sunlight and have the good ventilation. That's the uh, swastika style or uh, picture. Cultural psychology, and for the study the, between the relations between the culture on the one hand and the people on the other. I don't have a deep understanding of the study of the psychological generation and the meaning generation. In China, we pay attention to the philosophy and the theory in ancient times, while neglecting the practice on a certain degree. So cultural psychology will have the impact to those uh, people involved. For us, we have gathered together to discuss the wood culture. We have something in common. And this consensus will be conducive to the further development and carry on of wood culture. So that's a cultural psychology. That's terminology and uh, products are semantics. So we call it semantics. That means we have the different, for, for symbol, in terms of semiology, we have three dimension model it, for the three different parts. Number one is a, is a carrier, number two tools, number two is the meaning, number three is the physical object. So we'll be thinking of the three, combination of the three. This is the, the face mask in Shanxi province, we call it Ma Shao. The, uh, the, the, the mask. You can see this uh, as being transplanted to Coca-Cola so bottles, which shows the significant uh, attachment from Coca-Cola to the cross-culture phenomena. You can see this is uh, a vivid example of the cross-culture uh, localization. For symbols and the code, they are the specific code system. In Chinese culture is a code in itself. For code, we have the sub code system, subsystems for different languages, different uh, localities, and for different people, we have the psychological, and the NATO, and the post-NATO, and the pre-NATO uh, elements. They should be in line with one another. For the study of the culture, we are studying the code and be thinking of decoding. In decoding, we will know better and interpret the language, the color, and the essential behind the wood culture. Then we'll be thinking of the semantics. What is semantics? Semantics, this is the scenario and the context of the use of the symbol. If they used in the wrong place, you'll be nowhere. You'll be thinking of the correlation between products and different dynasties, and in terms of chronological um, meaning. You'll be thinking of the, you have to know how to read the information behind the root culture. In the literature, in the product, we call the product the semantics. For product the semantics, we have two meanings. Number one is they are a denotation, while another is a connotation. Connotation is more profound and more difficult and challenging to understand and interpret. So we have to rely on different knowledge and different technology to get the in-depth analysis before we can get a connotation. For the traditional patterns, 
as the outcome of the Asian people's uh, psychological consciousness, as interpretation of uh, in traditional patterns. Uh, let me approach it from social, philosophical, artistic, aesthetic, psychological, and anthropological perspective. Ergonomics. Ergonomics. We, we know ergonomics as a part of the study in, in modern uh, science. Because traditional uh, culture is uh, man-made. We have to be thinking how to maintain the manual part uh, because of the flexibility and the specialty of the manual work. So through the analysis, we will see the technology and update the technology so that we can optimize the production of uh, the wood culture. Chinese uh, culture, we have the different of uh, the, the elegant and uh, the grassroots level. We have the mainstream ones, and we have the common, the pop culture as well. So in terms of the intangible uh, assets, it will be the mainstream for the wood culture, because it is a government sponsored. Well, for the society, for the IWCS and for others, that's the non-governmental ones. In China, we have the website. A lot of folk website to promote the different cultures and subcultures. We have been thinking of the inter, these three should be intertwined to each other, interact to each other. Before we can carry it on, you can see it will be clo moving close to the mainstream. We can get the subsidies from the government, and also for downstream, we'll be le guiding the folk uh, culture development. For Chinese culture, is the combination of our traditional Chinese culture, Marxism, Leninism, and also Western culture as a three in one. For the psychological perspective, I quoted a certain Western culture uh, a couple of minutes ago. So we should be thinking of the combination of all the different elements. A lot of wood crafts will be updated the philosophies and acquire on the philosophies while bringing new ones. For many work, Will be there, will be perpetual form for existence. For manual labor work, for workers in the automation world, the workers will feel intense, feel the pressure there. Some people have the feeling of awe to their uh, high technology machinery. Uh, the uh, timber and the uh, technology. What's the core technology? The core technology is carving, uh, the the and the the painting, etc. This is a combination of different core technologies. With introduction of new technologies and the introduction of CNC and other machines, we can get a better technology in place. And uh, we another theory we call that. Uh, Hermeneutics. This is an interpretation study. This is a hermeneutics. Hermeneutics is the interpretation of a different elements, including culture, history, philosophy. By doing so, we can have a better understanding and communication. So it looks like something Tao, hermeneutics. That's as for interpretation. Hermeneutics comes from the Western culture as well. So for the culture, it's there for a long time. We know the different uh, cultural classical literature in China. And uh, we know, note, for the hermeneutics, hermeneutics, we have a new perspective. So what's the core, what's the core part of the traditional wood culture? Because in ancient times, they have certain literature related to this uh, study. Uh, through the screening, uh, through carry on of the culture, so for the crafts, it should be the symbol and the core of our wood culture. How to make the interpretation? What to interpret? How to interpret uh, the culture? How can we interpret something new, something fresh? It's not only the legacy from the past, rather, we we'll have something fresh. So that people will, more people will have interest in it. And for those are culture of our 
uh, geographical features should be carried out as well. So what have we thinking of the innovation based on the capacity of the tradition? On the one hand, we should absorb the essence of the tradition while introducing new elements. For craft, we should have the different uh, theories behind it, but we should have something new, something innovative. How to carry on among the youngsters, among the minors in daily life? That I just skip this part. Just now we talked about different perspectives, including psychological and other perspectives. And I will be thinking of the image, even the type, topology, etc. So the real interpretation comes from, on the one hand, the theory study. On the other, we should be thinking of hands-on hands experience. We should interpret it through the field of study to make analysis and measurement and study and to make the cases so that we will have more work in the future. I have three suggestions. Number one, we pay attention to the establishment of the methods for this discipline as a culture. It should be a disciplinary cross disciplinary subject. For the basic of one structures for timber, Chinese culture, psychology should be part of the basic elements. For the overlapping ones, overlapping disciplines in terms of culture. Uh, the maybe the heritage and also aesthetics and the industrial arts. Number three is complementary studies, including the st design study and the computer CD uh, related studies. Number four is the derivative or uh, uh, disciplines. I would call it the branch studies, including the culture of uh, furniture, I mean window culture, the uh, door culture, etc. So this is uh, my first lesson. This is the construction for the disciplines. Number two, as based on the IWCS and also the subsidiaries and branches of the Wood Society, we can have uh, the better work for the communication and exchange of ideas between the institutions that have learning and research, so that we pay more attention to the pass on and the interpretation of the Wood culture. That's the second suggestion. We should pull the wisdom of different stakeholders. Number three is that. Uh, Based on this platform, we are talking about the International Wood Culture Society. We should build it. Uh, the periodic, the magazines should be both enjoyed by the high taste and also by the grassroots. So we should be certain content should be for the grassroots people. In particular, maybe how to make the crafts uh, work. That certain room should be leave, so left there for the uh, grassroots people. In China, we don't have this uh, magazine. In USA, in Germany, they have this uh, popular the magazine for wood. In China, the Chinese uh, uh, carpenters and other staff, were neighbor, they just uh, work and they don't they don't write. So that's something uh, regrettable to us. So that uh, okay, we can further improve the website of IWCS. I have uh, this this one from Germany, the House Weekend. This, this something can be referred by us. These are the references. Two articles are authored by me. So uh, the intangible assets are inheritance, and also for this intangible assets are crafts and protection. I collected certain crafts, uh, totaling maybe ten categories. Last, uh, this is my contact. Now I'm uh, leading a competition of uh, micro wood products, similar to the one in the lobby. This one in our university. Anyway, for university, we we'll have talents, and both for theoretical practice and technical. So how to make this uh, context more uh, competitive and attractive? That's uh, another challenge for us. Thank you.